welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing what most YouTubers do and that is to tell you a few things that I don't like about the car. But don't get me wrong, I really do like the car. It is one of the fastest cars I've ever owned and the best looking one as well. But also perhaps it's my first BMW and coming from a line of Audis, uh, there is a few things that it just irritates me a little bit. But not major, but yeah, let's get to it. So guys, the first thing that really I feel that could have been done a little bit better is the boot itself. The Audi boot that I used to own, well, the Audi car that I used to own, if you pop the hood, it goes up by itself. But this boot, when you pop it, you still have to push it up. So it's a little bit, it's, it's not a thing major, it's not, nothing biggie, but it's just irritating, you know, when you have like a bag here and a bag there, and you're trying to, you know, put the stuff in the boot, you just manage to you know, put your fingers there, and, but it, it, you still gotta lift it up. But anyway, other thing that really irritates me is the seat belt, not that it's way far back, it's just because it's a coupe and it's got a longer door. But this here, you can't adjust it. You can't adjust the length on the height, I mean, of the seat belt. And this keeps irritating me here because I'm not really the tallest oak in the world. And it kind of rubs on my neck every time I drive. But yeah, I, I, I get used to it. Or play, maybe put like a, um, one of those seat belt wrap thing, whatever. And the other thing that really irritates me is the seat adjustment on the BMW. It's not pump action where I could get my seat exactly the way it used to be. You literally put the lever and you go up and you push it down. And I've lost where I used to be. And it's there. Oh wait, it's there. Maybe a little bit further down. Push yourself down. Maybe there. Can't really remember. That's really irritating. So the other thing that bothers me, and it's this is very irritating to be honest, is whenever I set my um, steering uh, setting, because you've got three, you've got comfort, you've got sport, and you've got sport plus steering, um, and then you've got your... Uh, engine noise or engine sound, um, you got your uh, efficient mode, you got your sport and you got a sport plus mode as well. The engine noise, uh, engine sound or engine setting, I don't really care if it's efficient, starts off with efficient, sport or sport plus. But when I start the car, I would like it to start at sp uh, comfort mode and not sport mode. Because when, you, when I'm getting out the garage or I'm getting out of parking lot, um, I don't want sport because then the steering will become very heavy and you can't really steer properly So comfort mode will be the best. So let me show you quickly what I mean. What I'm trying to say with this setting is if I start the car and It's basically It goes into sports and it goes through So that's the engine and that's the steering uh, setup. I like to have it in comfort because of the maneuvering it becomes lighter the steering becomes lighter it's easier to maneuver out of parking lots out of garages and yeah I have to do that switch the car on and then it will work but if I switch it off and I go into the shops come back out again and I want to start the car then I st switch the car on it goes back to sport and I have to press this button twice to get into comfort mode. Okay, not a major issue, but still pretty irritating. Okay, so the last issue I have with this car is there is no next or skip song button on the steering wheel. You've got your cruise control, you've got your M1, M2 mode, uh, you've got your voice control, got your telephone, speaker and you've got your mode mode does mode does nothing just switches off switches 
between your phone, your music collection, FM, AM, DVD, etc. So that doesn't really help me. And on the um, knob, it doesn't have a next button. It, it, it doesn't have next, that doesn't do next. That does, that doesn't do next. This just goes like that. Media, let's just go to music collection. So the only way to go next is to actually, you know, sift through it. But there is only one button and that's this one here. That's the only button that you can skip songs with. This is the only button. That's pretty annoying. Sorry, one last thing that I've noticed in the car is that the driver's side and the pass side temperature don't sync. So in the Audi <clears throat> that I had before, if you adjust this side, the left side would sync unless you change it on the left side. But, so in this car, you actually have to physically manually adjust the temperature both sides like that, then it will sync. I have checked the manual. It doesn't say anything about syncing. And apparently also they have a sync button somewhere here or there and then it will sync. But this car unfortunately doesn't have it. So yeah, a little bit irritated. So guys, those are the few things that just a little bit irritating about my car. But other than that, it is really a fantastic car. It's it really is a dream car. It's uh, it turns heads, it turns everybody's attention, and it's yeah, it's wow. I can't believe I own one of this. Next week I will be installing my carbon fiber spoiler. Please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any of those videos. And guys, comment if you think I'm a bit too pedantic about these little issues. Uh, if I'm being stupid, picky, whatever, you can I can take the comments, no problem. Or maybe there's something that I'm not doing right, and that's why, you know, for example, maybe there is a skip button on the steering wheel, but I just can't find it. Or maybe the boot can be adjusted so it just pops up by itself. I don't know. So if you guys do know, please put it down in the comment. I would really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. Please like the video if you like it and share and subscribe. Cheers guys.